Hello, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Tabletop Nights with me, TJ, and my good friend Victor, the usual host of the show. Uh, as said, we're here for Season 2 of Dice Thrones with the Gunslinger vs. Samurai, and we'll be bringing you the rest of these throughout the coming months as we play through them ourselves. So today, I'm the Samurai. We are Embracing your Asian <laughs> heritage, of yes. which you don't have any, but no, that's okay. But I've been to Japan, so it's close enough. That's close. Mm. We'll, we'll accept that. That's, nice and, <laughs> that's a nice weeby answer. Um, and I'm playing Gunslinger myself, as you can probably see on the table. Now, we're not quite playing a standard 1v1. We're only doing a 40 health match just to... Speed things up a little speed bit. Speed them along and, and just get them smashed out so we can do a few of these in a row sort of thing. So this is Battle 1. Uh, obviously, we're going to start... As TJ already said, 40 health, 2 CP. Um, battle 1, we're going to be getting through the rest of them again, probably in hopefully the next like week or so. Hopefully. We can try to get a few more done. We'll see how we go. It's big right now. It's big and it's hot. So uh, <laughs> who's going first? Uh, we've got a little dice ca uh, camera here, so we're going to have to make sure we're on left-handed, you're right-handed until it's perfect. I win. Looks so like that means first. I go first, which is not always a good thing. <laughs> All right. Oh, also draw four cards, which I have not done yet. I forget, yep. So, because I'm going first, I miss the income phase. Let me quickly read my cards. Should have done this before. Um, all right, I'm going to start off with a card. Uh, so, this is called Vegas Baby because zero CP. Roll one dice, gain half the value as CP rounded up. So, that's pretty good. Especially because you missed that income phase too. And that'll be a six that's, for three of them. That's a three. That is a mint start. So I'm on five already. <laughs> it's not a bad start to the game. <laughs> that's a great card to get first off. Actually, I'm going to take all my dice out of here because it's it going to anyway, yeah. be annoying later. All right, so I've done that. Uh, I will use two of those CP. Put me back to three to draw three cards. It's another good card. And then I will use this free card to gain another two CP. Jeez. I wonder if there's a cap on how many uh, cards you can use in a turn, because I'm going to keep going. There's here. not from what I remember reading in the book. So obviously, if we're wrong, feel free to correct us on that one. But And then I'll use one CP here to gain two honor. So two honor. Spend to increase attack damage. Spend to increase your attack damage by one. Or spend two honor to increase your attack damage by three. Mm. So that's not bad. All right. Now we can roll. We can actually get to the name of the game, which is dice roll. Dice throne. Dice. Roll, okay. roll dice slots. All right. So, not a bad one. Not a bad not one. Bad is one. that some, That That's almost something right there. Certainly worth it. Don't forget, you got cards, so you can tip dice and stuff. Um, I'm trying to think. I do have a small straight there. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> oh, nothing to screw with it with yet. All right. I'm going to keep the one, two, three, four and go for a large straight. Negatory. Nah. Negatory. So I'm going for a small straight. One, two, three, four, which is gain honor, which I can't because I've already got two. Already max. And uh, then deal six damage. So you get a defensive well, roll. To my defendy now, roll. Now, wait a second. Uh, I'm going to increase my damage by three by spending both my honor. Fair enough. So we're going for an attack of uh, nine right now. You only get one dice for a defensive roll. I do, but uh, I roll my one and you will have to roll one as well. Yes. Uh, if my roll is greater, I can choose to either deal three damage to you or prevent half of the damage coming in, round it up. Uh, if my roll is not greater, I just deal one damage. Which is still pretty good. It's not too it's bad. It's like a free... Oh, I'll roll first. It's not as bad to defend with as the uh, icy archer lady I was using last game. No. You're not going to beat that. Uh, <laughs> why do I play him at these but games? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I definitely should have known better, but that's okay. A six and a one. All right, so I take one damage. And I'll be taking nine? Nine. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. I was just saying before, I feel guilty when I win because <laughs> it's my house. I have more experience with the game, even though it's a luck game. And and track record wise, while we've always played this properly by the rules and everything, Vic has won every single game. Yeah, absolutely. So I sort of am happy if I lose, but happy if I win. So 
you're up. All right. Uh, so that was me taking a massive uh, hit. I can take my end, my main oh, you're phase taking, two. Yeah, but you took your one. Um, um, did you have anything you wanted to do main phase two? Play another card, perhaps? No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Mm-hmm. I do appreciate <laughs> I do appreciate the offer. <laughs> oh, that was right. turn one, and we had 10 damage dealt. It's just... One by you, nine by me. Why does this always happen whenever we play short health games, too? I don't know. It's just how it works. Anyway. All right. Uh, where are we? So you gain a CP and gain a card, so, yeah, too. Will... You get a free card, don't you? Just every turn. Three, yep. And one CP and draw one card. Yep. Hope you guys like our new mugs. Yeah. What dice is this called? Uh, oh, and during my upkeep phase, which is the start of my turn, I gain a reload token. Well, every turn you get one of those? Yeah, start of upkeep. That's badass. Is, what does reload do? Uh, reload, for those not in the know, being this is a new character, uh, I can spend the token and add half of one dice rolled to the attack damage. If a compl- if a player concludes their offensive roll phase with an attack, they can spend the token. If spent, roll a dice, add half the value damage rounded up. And I can stack those to, what is it? Two. So another attack modifier option, similar to your one, but different. Nice. Because I have guns. Exciting. Isn't it? Yep. All righty. Let's, um, ooh. I'm going to blow all three of my CP. I think he's going to be upgrading. I have a feeling. Upgrading something. And Only a three week. CP. Yeah, there we go. That's a good one to upgrade to, the base attack. Two CP for Revolver 2. And one CP to upgrade Bounty Hunter to Bounty Hunter 2. Wow. Just so I can do a little more useful stuff yeah. out of the gate. I've got a decent little lead here, so hopefully it's I can bad. just chip away at your health. That's main phase dealt with, so let's see what we can do for attack. One, three, three, four, four. That's something. Oh, it's almost it's almost your uh take cover. Mm. It's not bad. So if we keep I'll keep those two. And I will take a stab at re rolling these three. So roll number two. That's what I would do. Yeah, why not? You've just upgraded just it, so it's going to do a bit of damage. Pretty much. Last one, no use to me at all there, but that's fine, which leaves us on a one, two, three. Th- Ooh, wait, I can do a one, two, three, four. So he's got a small straight. So I, I do have a small straight, and you can go for the showdown. What's better? Uh, target opponent, each roll one. If a roll equal or greater, deal seven, otherwise, deal five. Or I could do a straight up five damage. I'm going to go with showdown. Yep. Try for the higher damage. What do I do? Or do do I do nothing? Um, So I will target you. We will each roll the dice. Yeah. If my roll is equal or better than yours, I deal seven. Otherwise, I deal five. Obviously, you get your defense roll after that as well. Up to you. Up to you. Four. It's a four. Beatable. Two. Two. Hey. So so I'm going for seven. So that'll be seven coming your way. So I get three defensive dice roll. Because you are um, a horrible man. On the swords, I can prevent a damage. Um, oh no, I can deal a damage. On the samurai helmet, I can deal two. So actually on the kabuto, which is, I guess is the helmet, thing. Uh, I can prevent a damage. On the sun, which is the rising sun, I can prevent two damage. If I don't get a kabuto... Or a rising sun, I get shame on myself, which is a negative effect. It's the shame. Come on, of not, shame. The shame of not defending. So, all right, I got a Kabuto and two swords. So I deal two damage to you, and I prevent one. So, so I take, take six. six. And I will go to twenty nine. And that puts me on thirty three. So that's actually all right. So I, yeah. And no, no shame on my family this week. No shame on your family. That was so racist. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's my character. I'm being in character. You would be you would you would do a female voice for yours, wouldn't you? Uh, I'm not even going to try. No, that. but I'm just saying, if you're going to mimic your character, you wouldn't be like. Man, I'd like to think I'd look good with the pigtails, though. Oh, for sure, for sure, <laughs> absolutely. Anyway, that's my turn. You're not going to use. Oh, you don't have. No, you have no CP. 
Uh, no, I burned it all up in my first main phase. So main phase two, nothing to do. Discard phase, I have nothing to do. So Beautiful. Up to me now. Nice. Okay, cool. Really hoping to get some upgrades. I have all the CP, but nothing to do. All right. Samurai attack. All right, we've got some bad swords, one. so we'll keep we'll keep these swords. We've got quad swords and a five. I don't want to tip any dice by accident. I'm a little shaky because I haven't eaten today. Right. <laughs> a helmet again. Ooh, Ooh, it lands the last sword needed. So that's seven damage. Okay, now. I have nothing that I can do for that, so that's fine. So I'm going to move my dice out of the way. Defense roll. Uh, I'll go first, since I'm attacking. Three. Very beatable. What happens if it's a draw? That's a good question. Uh, oh, no. it's If my roll is greater, I can choose to deal damage or prevent. If it is not greater, so equal to or lesser, I would assume then, then I only deal one damage okay. back. Come on, five, four, five, six. Nice. So and that's... I'm like, hey, how come the six-sided dice has a nine on it? <laughs> We're having a day today, obviously. Uh, so I'm dealing seven damage divided by two. If I want to is half it. it. Uh, is... Round it up. So round I'll it take up. Four. four. Way to math. Um, or I can deal three damage back in return. I'll go with a half, though, because I'm sitting on pretty low health. <laughs> All right, so four damage. And do I get hit? Get hit? Uh, no, it's just the... Oh, yes, okay, because you had the choice. Yep, yep. Um, so, you know, 25. still not the best turn, but that's okay. Um, that's it. Up. All you now. Thing. All on me. All you. All righty. Draw a card. Gain a point. And gain a reload. I am now max stacked on reload tokens. See, why well, I even have four there? Unless I can steal one. You know what I mean? It's weird. I you could give them to other people because there are powers true. to transfer them. True, 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 true. Yes. If you're playing co-op, you can play with up to six people. So um, I think I've even seen some like steely type tokens where I can actually take them off you and vice versa. So you yeah. could end up with my reload tokens to reload your sword. <laughs> <laughs> Which totally makes sense. Resheath it. <sighs> I'm hoping. One. I'm hoping it's shit. That Ooh. doesn't look shit. Oh, it's not great. It's not. It's not you got four, five, six. Bad. You got a four, five, six in there. Yeah, if you can go for two bullets there. Uh, I might take those. And go for. Not the best roll that one. Not what we wanted. You might not get anything here. Can you? You can use your passive ability too, by the way. Yeah, mine's the upkeep one that just gives me the reload token. Oh, okay. Damn. Do I have anything I can modify that with? I do okay. not. So my passive ability, which I completely ignored, at the conclusion of your turn, if you use less than three rolls during your offensive roll phase, gain honor. I wouldn't have had that anyway, just yeah. so you guys know. Um, because I, the first time I, my first turn, I rolled once, so I would have got it, but I already had two, which I was full. And then my second roll, I used all three. So we're good. Um, which leaves me with pretty much nothing else to do this turn. So you missed out completely. Yeah. That was unlucky. You That's... think, you think buddy four of those, uh, what are they? Oh, the, the evade icons. Now the only one I've got him uh, yeah. takes three and then two bullets, two. which is what I was hoping for. You but... didn't have a straight there? No. Okay. Well, that was the best outcome I could have asked for. Absolutely. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to quickly check my cards again because I've got a lot of CP, so I might as well start. Using uh, it. If you're above six cards, don't forget at the end of your turn to do your discard phase Five or sell at phase. The moment. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, let's go for a roll. Again, at the conclusion of your turn, if you've used less than three rolls during your offensive roll phase, I gain honor. Three helmets, two sons. 
Mm. Do any more. You've got a three helmeter there, but you'd need a pair of swords to finish it. I'm going to keep the suns. Going to keep the suns? Yeah. Keep them. Double swords gives you your wakazashi. It does, but I'm going for another one. Mm. No honor for you. Okay, so I got four sixes. Ooh, that was a two of a sword. Um, but I can. This is awesome. For one CP, change the value of one of your dice to a six. It's changing the two to a six. Could be worse. But that's my it's ultimate ability. That's now the ultimate ability. <laughs> so with the Shogun ability, I gain honor. I inflict two shame. Oh no, I am shamed. You're shameful. You're, you're wearing two revealing clothes. Um, <laughs> and then I deal 13 damage. Now, with an ultimate, dice may be altered to prevent an ultimate. Prevent to prevent an ultimate. Otherwise, no action of any kind may be performed by any opponent until the ability fully completes. Mm -hmm. So you still get to roll your defensive turn or does that uh, not include that? That's what I'm not sure about this. I can read that again if you want. I believe you still defend. I know I read this somewhere. Dice may be altered to prevent an ultimate. So you can alter my dice. Otherwise, nope. no action of there any it is. kind. No ultimates cannot be prevented in any way. Nice and simple and succinct but on the fat card there. You wouldn't be preventing it if you did a defensive roll. I assume you still get your defendy roll. Okay. I haven't seen anything contrary. Obviously, if we are wrong, feel free to correct us in the books. I would say you do, but let's uh, have a quick break and read the books. We'll be back in just a moment, folks. So, according to this chart... So, there we go. Book. It says damage type chart. I actually show it on this camera. Down a bit. There you go. Uh, ultimate damage... Defendable X. So, so it can only no, be enhanced. cannot defend. So it can be enhanceable, which I'm not going to do that. I'll save it from my other turn instead of doing it on her. Um, and so I deal 13 damage. Ouch. This game's going to be over very quick. That was the point, though. Makes so. me happy, sort of, a little bit. But not really. <laughs> <laughs> Just means we can play more. Takes me to 12. Uh, and... Now, just so you know, shame. When a player afflicted by shame would deal damage as a result of their offensive roll phase, remove this token and re reduce that damage by one. Fair enough. So not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. That's it. I, I would I would never thought I would get an ultimate attack to be honest. So, but when you have the cards, you can tip them. You can tip the dice to your favor. All right, we will spend one to roulette. Choose a player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a dice and it will do a random thing to you. Could be damage, could be a knockdown, could be bounty. It's two damage. Hey, you've got to do what you can, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm just chipping at what I can. I'm on 31 and you're on 12. So it's not, not going super. Not off. not the best start for you, unfortunately. Over there. Not the best start to Dice Throne season two. No, if I if I keep no. winning, I'm, I might as well join join a competition. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll straight up take that. Now wait a second. Unless Vic's going to be a dick. All right, I'm going to use what? Helping Hand. For one CP and force your opponent to re-roll any one dice. Fair so enough. I'm going to get you to... Can you flip that card back around? That big one so I can see your big one? Do you? Yeah. I just want to see what's the hardest one to roll. All right. I'll, I'll get you to re-roll your five. My five? But then you still get two more rolls after this. This remember? is true. It's now a two. How rude. So you still get two rolls. I do. Hmm. Could be worse. Hmm. 
All right. Looks like we're going with a four bullet. Which will then be uh, attacking. I will spend both my reload tokens. What do they do again? So if a player concludes their offensive roll phase with an attack, as I'm about to do, they may spend this token. If spent, roll a dice and add half the value as damage rounded up. Excellent. So, so roll a dice for each reload or for both? For each reload, for each, I would assume. Yep. So I'll use them one at a time just for ease. So we'll use one reload token. <laughs> add half the value as damage rounded up. So one. Add one. So we're on six now. So we're on six. Two. So seven, eight. Two. So, yep. So eight damage total. Now, what do they do? Do now, I, do you want to use I them both that right, once? Yeah. So I was going to use them both now so I could drop the damage back down and get rid of them. Okay. So. Yep. Use yep. them both. Chuck them so back. So I here. will spend both my shame tokens as well, which drops it back to a six. You're not ashamed anymore. No longer ashamed. You should be, though, after I'm done with you. <laughs> oh, no, right. Uh, so you'll be taking six. Defend yourself, sir. I can get. I can potentially get shame on myself. I'm curious right as to how a samurai is defending himself from a barrage of bullets. Well, with the sword. Ding, 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 ding. Going all Deadpool on that shit. All right. I have, I'm not shamed. I deal one damage and I prevent two. So you're still taking four. I'll take it. It takes me down to 27. Woo. Almost halfway. Meanwhile, over <laughs> here on 11s is... <laughs> uh, is that the end of your turn? And that will be turn for me. Excellent. I will gain a CP, which I'm still fairly CP rich. I'm on five now. Doing all right. Let's go for it. All right, I might as well try to... Uh, what do I have here? Oh, no, no, no straights, really. Um... Interesting. I might as well, since I've already been super impressive and hit you with an ultimate, I might as well keep my swords and go for a see what else you can sword come up attack. With. Ooh, that's something. Double sword, double sun is wakazashi for you. That's only three defend undefendable damage. Mm. Um, all right, I will be a bit cheeky here. And I will roll. Right, not the result I wanted, but that's okay. So that was my last roll. All right, so I do have nothing. Um, change the value of any one dice for two CP. Two, put me down on three. So I'll change that to a six. Um... And then I will go use another CP to change the value of one of your dice to be identical to the value of another one of your dice uh, that was rolled within the same phase and for the same purpose. Yep. So I'll change that to a six. Holy, I did. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. That's okay. I could to spend another. I didn't realize I had this card. I forgot. Um, tip it. Increase the or decrease the value of one dice, so I can that one tip that, that one, one to there. a six, <laughs> giving me another shogun. Another shogun. I'll gain your honor, and then yes, yeah, so I'll gain. Deal. Actually, thirteen will be a straight wipeout. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. Wait, wait. Yeah. There's no negatives on there. I can't believe I won so quick. I feel so guilty because, like, that's the luck of the dice. I man. know, it's, but it's not like you're cheating or anything. It's like I, I really want roll. want you to win. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only one I won was our practice match, wasn't it? You did win the practice. I match. I did win the practice match back in season one, and I haven't won a game since. Back in season one, a month ago. A month ago. <laughs> also. Shh, it sounds longer if I say it that way. Well, that's it, and that's how you play dice throwing. Um, season two. That is the samurai versus the gunslinger. 
And you'll definitely see more of those characters to come as we play through the rest of them. Yeah, we'll see if we can get yeah. a few more of the crew along and do a nice big showdown as yeah, well. Yeah, do great. a big one. Um, so make sure you go see our unboxing video um, because I did one yesterday and uh, it just showcases everything that came in the box. So you absolute get absolute great detail in there as well. Yeah, so uh, you get to view all the characters. Uh, their boards, their pictures, some of the finer detail that goes into this game. And uh, I think how much detail they put in their game really just goes to show that they care. Oh, They're not very just much in it for so. the money. They... I was super impressed with season one and how much detail they put into their game. Season two, they've, they've one-upped themselves massively. There's even more detail, great little an- uh, little pictures on the cards and everything. Yeah, they've, they've gone all out for this game and it is one of the most enjoyable board card whatever games i've played in a long time so there you go you heard it you heard it there all right thank you very much for watching make sure you give us a like if you enjoyed the video if you saw anything that we did wrong uh let point it out in the comments below because we don't want to make that mistake in the next recording that we do or maybe Uh, we do and we just ignore you (laughs) um again which we won't so this is a new area where we're recording so if there's a little bit of echo in the audio we're going to try to work on that next time and again, with the set, the setup of the camera, we're trying to figure a few things out. So just be a bit patient with us and we'll get to better. Tips, suggestions, hints. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Hit the little bell so you know when we do post things. Don't forget to leave a comment if you can. Absolutely. We'll see you next time on Tabletop Nights. I've been TJ. That's been Vic. See ya. Have a good one. I'm coming home.